Okay, I think we're ready to call this meeting to order. Thank you all for your, uh, your patience while we finish our executive session business. The first item on our agenda is always um, 15 minutes for public comment. Is there anybody here who wants to speak with us in, as a matter of public comment uh, on a topic that is not on our agenda? Anybody? Nobody. Okay. Okay. So what that means is from here on out, we are sticking to items that are on the agenda. That's our the, that's our our focus tonight. So last call, topics so, on the agenda. So okay. that means we won't take public comment. Just that's the, right. That's right. Uh, any other any other discussion tonight will be only as confined to the agenda that we have. Does that great. make sense to everybody who's here? Yes. Okay. Nod, nod your head if that makes sense to you, please. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, um, the first item of business, well, in, we have the, the warrants that are circulating. Mm -hmm. Somebody hasn't signed them, John. Um, and are there any changes to the agenda? <coughs> no. Okay. So we have uh, a consent agenda, which is to approve uh, the edited minutes of our August 22nd regular meeting and to approve and sign the 2022 parcel mapping contract that we got from the listers. Is it listers or planning commission? Listers. Plan it's the listers, okay. Um, is there a motion on the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I have it here to circulate. Okay, great. And I haven't seen Alfred. Rick, are we expecting Alfred? I didn't. I was going today, so I couldn't talk to him. I, I uh, well, I said he got the agenda, and then I sent a follow-up email to you and Ralford about the East Cal's Community Trust ROW, mm -hmm. which I need to recuse myself from, so I will sit in the audience. Okay. If that's is that next? Um, well, it is, but I don't know that we want to talk about it without Alfred here. <laughs> And similarly on the, so under the roads report we had well, the- Well, it's not, you know what? I know, it's not 750 yet. Right, so maybe I'll, maybe Rick could talk about the- Yes. Um, roof pavement and bike signs? Right now I don't have anything still, I'm sorry. I, I just haven't had time to dig into it from, so I, I still have to go to the MUTCD and see what we can do okay. on that, so. Um, on both roof pavement and bike signs, so- right. um, Looking ahead to the 26th, we have quite, quite a long list on that night. Well, um, out, or, so Rick, let me just say to you, I was driving through Maple Corner and I spoke with somebody yesterday. They're, you know, they're delighted that we're gonna be doing something, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, what do you think the timing is? Well, well, I'm waiting. We... We're, we're waiting right now. We've made the order for the, the digital signs, the radar okay. signs. Okay. So when that gets... So those are ordered. Excellent. Right. And then I saw that sign got moved down. I have to ask Alfred about this. It got put down right in the village, which is the opposite direction of where that should have been. If oh. it was going to get moved, it should have gone up. Yeah, you said up the hill. Above the T. Yeah, and I, so I don't know who or why that went down there. Hmm. That was... Contrary to what I said before, it does no good where it is. Okay, so so, so in other words, so I just saw that too. So, so was, the signs have been ordered, and I don't remember what the time frame is when we're going to when they might arrive. I, it could be, you know, outside two months from the time we ordered, which is a few okay. weeks ago. So, but it may may be sooner. Do you want to talk about the other two items on the twenty sixth, or see, what's our first October meeting? Um, yeah, I'll, 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 I don't know. I'm surprised. Um, refer those off to the 26th. Are you sure, though? Because I mean, I'm asking because if we're going to make time on that agenda, I really want to make sure that I will try to definitely have it. I'm You'll try to definitely. Sure. So, yeah, <laughs> we do. I, Maybe we I, should I, check in before we do the agenda. Uh, no, let's just do that. <coughs> What's the first meeting in October? Did you look it up? It's the 10th, which mm -hmm. is a holiday, but we can it talk is. about that in a second. Um, it's the freaking holiday. Oh. Or Indigenous Peoples Day. So okay, so Rick, I'm Rick. I'm going to flip that. We'll we'll write it down. If you're not going to be ready, let me know like right. by the middle of the week before. Okay. So those two items will carry over to the 
26. Would you like me to talk about personnel updates while we're waiting? Um, yeah, I guess that's our, gosh, yeah, that's our next item. Okay, so uh, personnel updates. The tax checks are coming in fast and furious, which is a great thing. Um, and I went in to do training along with Barbara, and we decided that actually just having one person enter the tax checks made sense, and so Barbara's learned how to do that. She has spent a ton of time entering tax checks. Nemric, Wendy, recommended that we break down her time so we can keep track of it better. Yep. And put her hours as doing the tax checks under assistant treasurer to keep track of the time. Which so was, is the position she resigned from. Right, and I but know. Just, as, just an right, allocation right. paper. It's, it's yeah. a paper allocation. It do, yeah. doesn't reappoint her or, or right. any of that stuff, but it's just a way for us to track the time. Right. So I just wanted to bring that up to see if that made sense to folks before we go too far. Um, we have we have advertised everywhere for the treasurer business manager position again. It's been in seven days, it's been in the Hard Work Gazette, the Times Argus, Front Porch Forum, a whole bunch of assorted Facebook pages. We have four, we had four inquiries. One of them said, you know, she didn't send me her resume, but she asked a couple questions, which I answered, and she hasn't responded. There was another one who was very interested, but we weren't, she wanted to know what the salary was. She told me what she was making currently, and there's no way we can match that salary, which just isn't in the town budget, regardless. Mm -hmm. So we have two prospective applicants to interview. I think we should interview both. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should interview anybody who applies. Um, so we just need to come up with a time to schedule and set up interviews. I think we talked about the 20th. But I realized today the 20th is also the Planning Commission's big meeting about the zoning regs and all that. Um, so I'm hoping we could schedule it maybe to the, the Thursday of that week, which would be the 22nd, and do both at the, you know, stagger them. So what time would that be in the evening? Yeah, I think so. Um, I could not do it before 7. I have a meeting at 4. Me too. So the, so the 22nd is the Thursday, right? Yep. So could folks do it on the 22nd at 7? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then do we think, how long do you think? Half an hour, 45 minutes? If we're interviewing two candidates. We're going to be here for an hour for each. An hour for each. I think we want to leave ourselves that room. Yep. I think we should plan, my suggestion, guys, is we plan on a 45-minute interview. With 15 um, minutes to 15 digest. 15 minutes in between to digest and make sure that people can leave gracefully. Um, so 7 p.m. on the 22nd, and we'll warn that as a special meeting, but as we've discussed, interviews are confidential. That's right. Okay. Um, hang on, so i got to make sure I get the date right. Everyone got that in your notes? The Thursday, the 22nd yeah, no. at 7 p.m. for two on. interviews? Yep. And um, let's actually say this out loud. Is there, are those ads still running? They are, cause, and we said that we would keep the position open until filled. I think that I got waylaid when I said I was going to re repost, or did I repost? I did. You did? I did. Okay, I will, re I will say again that I'll do it, and then we'll see if I remember. Um, so if we get another candidate, John, Rick, if we get another candidate between now and the 22nd, are you guys okay if um, Denise maybe shuffles our thoughts a little bit around timing and we invite somebody else that evening. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I don't think we, I think we want to interview anybody who... I have a meeting until six, that's all. Any, anybody who's a credible candidate. Right, Yeah. right. Um, okay, so, all right, so that'll be our, that'll be on the 22nd. 20 second. Thursday, September 22nd. And I'll look on the calendar and see if this is available. If not, we'll have to do the town office. Um, okay, we can, there's other, one other thing we can do while we're waiting. Rescheduling Town Highway 7 hearing. Town Highway 7 continued hearing was supposed to be next Monday, the 19th. And we have some information that we're waiting for, so it doesn't make any sense. Well, to, we have a surveyor hired. But it's not ready. And the surveyor needs to prepare a report. And right. Not, the surveyor is behind on that. 
Right. So we need to reschedule the meeting so that we have, because the re survey will be um, a matter of public record, so. Yeah. Right, so, so the sequencing we're talking about is point number one, we are, I guess, canceling next week's hearing. Yeah, and Joe said that we sh And next week was not a formal public hearing, but what it, we, we thought that it would be, we, we would be convening to actually for board deliberation, but instead, right. We realize when we get a survey, we need to admit that, which is a matter of public record. So we need a, a time when we do that. And I guess that means that we've opened the hearing and other people can come forward with, if they have something they want to add. Right, we can add it to the record or people can right. remove things from the record. Do you, did, I don't think Mark, I think Mark said that he's, we pick a date and he's, he'll make it work. Right. Okay, so. So we just need to pick a, and we probably want to put it into October, maybe. I don't know how far behind this surveyor is in his work. Well, we've all, yeah. So we could do it Monday, October 3rd is maybe early to do all the reposting and re-noticing. Not really, if the survey's ready. If the survey's ready. So, so we need to go out a little further so we have more confidence. Well, let's see from Joe. I can send Joe an email and say, will it be ready so we can do this on the 3rd? Because we've got to know if Joe's available, too. Can I, excuse me, can I say something? Yes, go um, ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna be, I'm, I've been kind of involved with this issue and I'm unfortunately gonna be away and in the first two, uh, two or three weeks of October. I was, so let me say two things about that. One, notwithstanding Reed's conflict, I was going to suggest the 17th as being a little further out and gives us more window. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we're having this conversation again in some more awkward way. Um, and the other thing, Reed, is if we do it on the 17th, which we haven't decided to do, and you're still away, what we're going to do that night is accept into evidence a survey that will be a matter of public record immediately. And then we are in the same place that we were at the last meeting where the board says, okay, thanks y'all. We gotta go and look at everything, ask our questions, see where we are. So it's, it's in the scheme of things, I would imagine it's not a big night to miss, if that's any comfort to you. And the survey, the survey we would post on the website. It would post, and we'll have the camera here right. to capture whatever yeah. does happen. Yeah. So, okay, so let me go back to the idea of the, of the 17th. How do people feel about that? The 17th is not a regular meeting date, but if the 10th is a holiday, I don't have any problem meeting on the 10th. I don't know about anybody else. Well, let's process that question. Because that might help us decide How do people question. feel about meeting on the 10th? That's Columbus Day. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Indigenous People Day. Indigenous People, that's right. Um, I mean, we could meet, we could meet. What, then why are we trying? We, first, we don't even know if the report's going to be ready then, right? We're talking about a regular select This is regular, the that's the 10th oh, is the second, oh, oh, the second. Thought, oh, yeah, okay, so we're, we're, we got a lot of balls in the air trying to keep up. So we're saying yeah. the 10th is a regular select board meeting. It's the second Monday of the month. Do we want to meet in a regular meeting that, that night? That's the question. I say yes. I'm good with it. I guess so. I'm, I'm fine with it too. And then that leaves, so now the second question is, do we want to meet on the 17th to hopefully accept into, at, at, under Town Highway 7, open that, have that hearing opened up to accept the survey and any other new evidence people want to offer that night? That will be a relatively short meeting, I would imagine. Right, except for then we might go into deliberations after. Well, we could go into deliberations, or we could just say this is when we're going to meet to deliberate because everybody needs time to like look at all, look at everything all in one package. But that'll be the discussion. We that'll have be that the night. discussion we have that night. What That's we right. Decide to do so because so, if we get the survey ahead of time, we can post it ahead. Yep. So, question again is how do people feel about having their time how Highway Seven? We're calling it a hearing, but it's. It's, it's a continued. It's continued from the, the meeting in July? July 18th. Yep. Rick, yeah, how are you on the 17th? I'll make it work. John? Yeah. Okay, so the 17th is when we're going to, uh, 7 o'clock? Yes. What I'd like to do is have it so that we notice the 17th of October at the same time we're not going to be meeting on the 
19th of September if that's possible. Yeah. We just have to do one notice. Yep. So I think we've decided October 17th at 7 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we need, do we have to do motion to change all this? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, we need to Let it be scheduling. So. All right. It's all right. So those things are done. I do actually want to circle back to personnel, Denise. Um, we had a question about the nature of the treasurer business management position manager position yes. that we post we posted and I, I want to just make a couple of points about that yeah, the title I, yeah, I raised the a question that I was asked Denise yeah Denise raised the issue and I will just you know outline what the concern generally was um, so we've posted a, a, com a combined or actually a better term I think is an integrated position for treasurer and business manager and and there was some question about the nature of the, the you know quote business manager piece of it and the term manager we we talked a little bit about this in the meeting um, in the end of July if folks were here you may this may sound familiar that piece of the position is really it's it's supporting the select board in being more efficient and more effective in our job so that um, we. We just we, we signed a contract tonight. Things have to happen with that contract. It has to land in somebody's hands. It has to be filed in the, in the town offices. Every little piece of business we do has lots of tentacles that go other places. Right now, that's all being done. I'm going to say by the select board, but the truth is, it's being done most, mostly by Denise. And the rest of us are are all of us are doing the best we can with so 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 many balls in the air. So having somebody whose full time job is um, working as treasurer and supporting us and making sure that we stay on track and things are efficient is the is the role of this position. There's an HR piece to it that is supporting us in administering HR. For in HR being human resources. Human resources. For example, when somebody new is in the employee of the town road crew, that means gathering social security number and address and certain paperwork. pieces of information and paperwork and getting them set up in the system. It is not the same as being an HR manager, the decider of whether this person gets to stay on or gets a, 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 a bonus or a raise. It's a, it, it is not that. It is, a, it is not management in that it sense. It's really managing us as a select board in terms of keeping the administrative train on the track. So I wanted to just say that out loud. Um, because other positions, other towns have a, have a business manager position that is a very different kind of role and might cause um, different kinds of concerns to come up. Like, well, wait a minute, what does this mean if this person is my boss but this person approves my raise? That's not what we're talking about here. And I just want to say that on the record for anybody who has those questions rattling around in their minds yeah. or in their conversations. Thanks for clarifying. Okay. I think it was really important to make that clear on okay. the record. Does anybody on the board want to add anything to what I just said? No. Okay. Uh, okay, so we are circling back up to our roads report topic. Um, welcome, Alfred. Welcome, Peter. Why don't we start? Um, Ryan's here. And who, who? Ryan Edwards is here for East Dallas. And Ryan Edwards is here. And actually, I was going to say let's start with Peter, but that, I'm, that clock is on track, so we'll go. We will. Peter, pick you guys up for your 15 minutes at 8.15. Um, okay, so we have an application for uh, right of use of the town right of way for the East Callis Community Trust. And who is going to speak to this? I'm just going to, for the record, I'm going to recuse myself from this. Okay, thank you, Denise, because you are? Because I'm the vice chair of East okay. Callis Community Trust. Okay. And Ryan, are you here for that? Yes. Okay, come up and join us, please. And I don't know, I think that soda was here when we got here earlier, so. It's I, been there. Oh, it's not for our guests. <laughs> well, you can take um, it with you if you want. Yeah. Um, Ryan, you want to say your name and, and, and just speak? Yeah, us? so uh, I'm Ryan Edwards. Um, I'm the project architect uh, working with the East Callis Community Trust. Um, and developing you know, the plans and specifications for the project. Uh, and I'm here this evening um, as a representative of the East Callis Community Trust, the applicant for the, the Callis right away permit application that was submitted 
uh, May 24th, um, uh, which we uh, primarily require uh, due to, uh, we're going to be we're proposing to replace the, um, the septic line under Route 14 uh, that runs from the building across the road um, to where the uh, existing septic tank is located. Um, it'll re be replaced with a, a directional bore technique, um, uh, which is mandated by, by VTRANS. Uh, we already have a VTRANS 1111 permit application that's been approved by the state um, to perform this work, uh, given that it's in the right of way number 14. And uh, we need a California right away permit because we're going to be uh, basically excavating right in the middle of that uh, paved apron at the intersection of Back Street and Route 14. Uh, in, a, in an area pretty close to where um, that emergency work was completed back in December. I remember that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I printed your application here. I have uh, it right here. Um, I have it too. Oh, uh, okay. so Alfred, you want to, so what, so this is, because this involves um, use of the town's right of way and Alfred is the road expert, I'm going to ask Alfred if you have had a chance to look at this and whether you have um, items you want us to list as conditions or restrictions on this project. Well, I'll start off with a question, and that is, are you going to be digging Yes, you mean into the, like the gravel well, I portion of that? I'm familiar with the boring, and I know yeah. they have to dig back before they can, can bore it down underneath the road. Yeah. So my question is, are you back before the apron? Yeah, so the, the, the trench is approximately um, uh, 8 by 16 feet uh, that we'll be digging on the back street side, and that, um, that hole we're going to be digging will be... Um, <laughs> I think it's approximately three or four feet in the gravel portion of Back Street and bleeding into the, the paved portion of the, the apron. So you will have to disturb the apron? Yes, the apron will get disturbed, yes. Okay. okay. Um, compaction is very important. Yeah. Because you're going to pave it back. I presume you're going to repair the pavement. Yes. Yeah, and the gravel uh, portion of Back Street as well. Yeah. Um, so to Further, my questions. Um, I, I think that you're going to be working, you know, replacing some foundation on the building on the back street side as well. Um, no, the, the only work that's happening um, on the back street side is we'll be we're going to be reconstructing existing. Um, there's a failed uh, wood uh, uh, retaining wall uh, next to the. Uh, to, there's a back covered porch. Uh, we're reconstructing that retaining wall, however, we're reconstructing it uh, on the ECCT property right now. It's actually, it's, on, it's in the town right away on Back Street. Um, right. So th that's going to get moved back onto the, the ECCT property. Okay. So that should be included in the permit as well. So okay. we're not just replacing the septic. Now we're also fixing right. a retaining wall. Oh, so I'm just saying, what's that? Um, we're not not replacing the septic line. That's not oh, the line. line. Yeah, the line. Yeah. yeah. But you're also replacing, you're also working in the right way to replace that wall. Correct. So I'm just saying that should be included in the permit. So, Alfred, have you had a chance to see the permit? Yes. The application? I couldn't print it off today because I'm, my okay. toner is out of date. Okay, so here's my, my um, let me just read it out loud for you and for everybody. The project involves trenching through Back Street and across route, Vermont Route 14 to install a new sewer line from the building to an existing septic system across the road, so that's the sewer point. It also involves repaving the existing parking lot along the edge of Vermont Route 14. Uh, Vermont uh, VTrans State Highway Access and Work Permit is concurrently being applied for see attached site plans. So two things, the repaving of the parking lot and the septic line. Are that's, that's what's included in the permit. Right, and so my question is, is there work that you're proposing that isn't being, that you, these are the, these are the two projects, say, affect, you've mentioned the, the apron, and 
the sewer line is in there. Is there any other element to the work that is missing from here? Well, like you mentioned, I, I think it would be, I mean, we can certainly um, provide an amended project. That's what I'm wondering is if we should go to, if you guys want to amend this, and then Alfred, if you want to, have you been out and met, looked at it with Ryan, or you know the site very well, I know. Yeah, I know the site. I have seen the, the plan, the site plan. Okay. Well. So bottom line is, Ryan, is there any urgency that we approve this tonight? Um, no. Okay. Well, but if I were to, if I were to provide an amended uh, project description, would that be something that can be approved at say the next? Yes. Select board well, meeting. I have a question. Uh, this is all getting done at the same time. That's yes. Oh, uh, okay. That yeah. was a confusing point. Okay. I have a question too, I, and this is just about the shoulder material, Alfred. I want to make sure. I don't know what the sub base is under Back Street, but it probably isn't much. It's sand. It's all sand. So I mean that whatever they get back, that we wanted to use the same material that they scrape out of the sub base when they backfill that. So they so yes. that the perf good, not not a different material. So is it moving differently as it needs? Right. right. Well, I guess it, it sort of depends on how big of an area is disturbed. Yeah, I don't but know. No, I'm guessing it's just going to be probably an escalator bucket width. And so you would, so want, it's you would want different materials in that. You're going to be the whole, the whole width of the road. Right. And you, would, you could use a dense grade, something that's a little more stable. But it is, it's absolutely the same. I mean, you're going to get. Yeah, okay. Maybe, so it's not an issue. I just want to make sure that that wasn't a different material, that was something that wasn't pretty radically different, and then have it heave differently in the winter. Right. So if it was. I mean, for example, there was an issue when they when they had emergency repair of the line, um, where there was some sinking of where they had excavated um, to repair the line that had to get remedied. Um, so, so we'll avoid. Um, we'll make sure that you know that's not something that that happens as part of it. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So I so it sounds like I. I'm I'm wondering if we can approve this Within so they can get going on this because I. I the issue of if we wait too long and things start getting cold, you're going to have the same settling issues. Um, um, does anybody have a clean copy? I, I mean, I'm I'm flexible, but I do want to make sure if there's something missing, you know, project wise, there's a difference between what the project is and the conditions. But if there's something missing from project wise, then it, we at least I took notes on mine. You have a clean version? <laughs> no, I have a question. If if the wall that's being replaced isn't being changed, isn't being moved, isn't doing anything, why do we even need a permit if it's on the existing footprint? Because you're working in the right, right of way, and you have construction in the right of way. Okay, I would suggest, Brian, that we come back and get, file on another application and get this one done. This has been sitting around since May. So, so we have, so John is proposing, I'm gonna expand on your thought, John, that somebody pull up a clean copy um, and, and um, Ryan, you can just write something in here. I don't really have a problem with that, but I want the, I do want what we approved to be complete. Right. And we can do it one of two ways. We can do it with, I mean, I can cross off my little notes. And you can, I mean, I have a copy actually. You do. Yeah. All right. Well, there's one. Do you have a hard copy? Um, it's not the hard copy, it's a uh, photocopy actually. Oh, that's fine. Original line. I have the application, the original application. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's all I'm talking about. To yes, yeah, so, so to just add the thing that people are. Here, Ryan, do you want to add? Yeah, sure. Do you and, have do you have the the piece the retaining wall? The re, yeah. Yeah, the I can, I can add language about because they talk about repaving the parking lot and to, and the existing septic system. And if there's a retaining wall component, then let's just let's just get it done. And then Alfred, in terms of the conditions. Um, tell me, you you were asking Ryan some questions. Do they crystallize for you in terms of what conditions you're looking for? Uh, right, so compaction is, is very important. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to close the road, most likely. Yes. So proper signage that follows that MUCTD. And Alfred, you're available to consult if that's necessary? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's something we would, I mean, we would definitely reach out anyways. Uh, we, exactly. Yeah. But as far as the conditions, it's, it's, it's going to be in there. 
Yep. And we'll provide traffic cones and all that stuff, signage to close the road. And that's what we usually do. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The last time we did this, Alfred didn't want to use, us to use the town it design. Becomes, it becomes a liability when the town is using their, their uh, signage. Okay. So when do you... So if there's a contractor that's going to be digging up the road, he's going to have signs. So oh, we okay. have. Okay. You know, yes. I mean, it's every contractor has them. Okay. Uh, so it right. just needs to have the price signs. Okay. And, and so, so what I have documented is full compaction material upon completion of the project and proper signage upon closing of the road in consultation with the road commissioner. Anything else? Uh, no, I think most of the work there, other than Back Street, is in the state right away. So uh, they have to follow the state's criteria for, okay. the, for the paving. Okay. John, Rick, any other questions, no, comments? No, no. Um, is there a motion to approve the permit with the conditions, the amended permit as right and is amending it with the conditions discussed? So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I have a suggestion. This is what we did the last time. We just attached a copy of the minutes portion of this discussion and requirements to the signed permit. And then it's clear. Yep. Okay. Which is an excellent, excellent example of what a mm -hmm. select exactly. board exactly. business manager would take care of. Exactly. <laughs> Almost done. Okay, so and if Mark was here, he would be recusing himself as well. Yeah. Ryan, thank okay. you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank here, you, Ryan. Ryan. That's right. Um, I'll do this. Yeah. I lost my right. agenda, you guys. Yeah, you can hear this. I like that. <laughs> Thanks, um, thank you. Where are we? Alfred, when Ryan exits, I would love for you to join us. Thank you. Um, Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. And so, yeah, Alfred, come on up and join us. We, while um, we we um, we bumped the group payment as an alternative and biking signs to the twenty six. So that you and um, so Rick Rick will have opportun more opportunity to crystallize a proposal around those items. That leaves. I'm going to just ask you to fill us in on um, any general thoughts on your mind, and specifically what we put on the agenda is hearing from you about um, confirming that the training occurred with the road crew around the road standards, and that you have that. Confirmation signed. Did everybody sign that? I do not. I don't have confirmation. I don't have anything signed. Did you we do? We talked that? about it extensively. We. We the road crew. Okay. And um, road crew is not ready to sign. They need more time. Do you, one thing I want to add, and Alfred and I were talking about this, I have concerns about some of the standards too, and some of the road width issues. So, but I recommended he had issues with that around safety, around you know, because they do deviate pretty far from AASHTO standards, which are statutorily you know, what we have to follow. Now, the question is, you know, I told him a good thing to do would be to mark up a set of the work with the crew, mark up a set of the standards and show us those areas that are particularly problematic in that, if that's all right. And then we can, I think we discuss, we, we ought to, as a board, ought to discuss that. I don't want to, I'm nervous about forcing him to sign something that doesn't meet standard, you know, which we're obligated essentially by our funding is tied to that. 
And so I think we, and I, I you know, so I want to make sure that we're aware of what we're doing. Is that a reasonable? So, well, let me, actually, let's do this. Yeah, Denise, you speak, John, then I have some comments. I mean, all we're asking for in signing this is that they've read them, they understand them, and... Right. But they're, they're afraid that that's putting them responsible. If they're, if they're signing something that they're approved, so-called approving, and going to implement something that is unsafe, that could hold them liable. That's their fear. Where did that no, fear? That's not what's going on. No. First off, these standards have been approved by the select board. They were run past the state. The state approved them as meeting state standards. Right. So, so they are the town standards. They're obligated to follow them now. This is just an acknowledgement that they have completed review of them and training. It's not an acknowledgement that they are the police, that they are liable. They're not liable. They're employees of the town following the town directors. Now, if they feel like they're being, by following them on any particular project, it puts them in a, a position of responsibility or liability. Your job as manager is to contact us, one of us or all of us immediately, and have us go down there and see what's going on well, and why that's a liability and why that's a violation of state well, law. And hang on, so I want to talk about that. We need to talk about because I can come up with several, several Alfred, reasons. Alfred, let me. I, I let me. Think let me. I have a right to talk too. No, sure. you don't. What you do when I when I ask you to, okay. when when well, because I ask. said Denise is going to speak, John is going to speak, and then I have a comment I want to make. Okay. okay. Well, I didn't really get to finish. Would well, you like was, to finish? Yeah. All, all this is basically saying is that they received them and they reviewed them. That's all it's saying. I don't know how they can read anything more into that with regard to them having some kind of liability. I mean, these standards have been in place since 2014. Right, but... but so Alfred? And nobody, up until now, nobody on the road crew has come to the board and said, hey, can we review these? You, you're here like every other meeting or every meeting, and you never say anything about you know, because I, Alfred, uh, let me. I want to add. Can answer to, yeah. I want no. I want to add. To, I want to. I want to make sure Denise is done, and then I want to add, and then then we're gonna. Then it will. Then it will be your your turn, Denise. Finish. You know, they've been in in place as something that the town has worked on. As John said, they've been approved by the state, and we keep going around and around and around about these road standards and not implementing them. I get it. If there's issues then the road crew needs to get together under your direction and come up with something to present to the board as to why we can't use the standards that we currently have. That doesn't mean that you can't sign a paper saying that they've been received. Because I had the office staff make... Reviewed. Reviewed. I've had the office staff make copies for everybody, copy of the memo. All they're doing is signing saying that they've received them and they've reviewed them. So, so let me add one more point. My concern, um, well, what John said and what Denise said, we're just asking them to acknowledge that they've received. These, um, these are the select board standards. So the position the road crew, all of you are putting yourselves in, is rejecting the, the select board's standards that are not new, that apparently, it happened before my time, which is why I use the word apparently, but I've been told over and over that they were approved by the state. You're putting yourselves in the road crew in the position of making an independent judgment over the judgment of the select board about what the standards for the town are, and that is also a very precarious position to be putting yourselves in. Okay, so first of all, the standard is not complete. I've read it several times. It is not complete. The select board was supposed to dictate which roads were going to be which width. There's 12 foot, 14 foot, and 20 foot. We don't know which roads you guys want to be which width. So the standard is not complete. Can I assume that Lightning Ridge Road is going to be 12 feet wide? Travel portion is 12 feet wide? I'm not going to assume that. But I have to assume that you guys need to make that decision. That has not been done in seven years. It's that was supposed to, Sharon, mm -hmm. please. You're right. You're right. Go ahead. That was supposed to have been done back in 2017 when this was first adopted. 
14. Never got done. So here we are in 2022. It's readopted. Nothing has been changed. Nothing has been complete. That, those, those roads, I don't know which roads you want to be what with. 12 foot rock wide to me is not enough for any road. Not when you're meeting people at 25 miles an hour. And that's being generous. People are driving 50 miles an hour on some of these roads. 12 foot is not enough. I really want to put, put some barricades out here on, on Moscow, on this road right up Kent Hill, and just demonstrate what a 12 foot wide road is. And see what people think of it. And secondly, I want to know that the taxpayers of this town are okay with that standard. Because I talk to a lot of people and they have no idea what this even is. They have no idea what I'm talking about. So that's another request that I will have is that this goes out either on Front Porch Forum or somehow to get to the whole public. Yeah, it's on the website. It's so John, I'm gonna ask John to make a comment or ask his question. He raised his hand. I'm gonna ask one, then I'll go to Denise and we'll just go around. So John first. So to your point that the select board has not followed through, my first off, I remember there was a map of different colored map where they talked about, but we did not set the standard here, correct? But that doesn't mean that there's a violation of state law, federal standards. Well, no, let me finish. I could, let me finish. I continue. That part. Sure. That's number one. Number two, this is about having read it and acknowledging it, and to this extent, there's a part that they cannot implement, then they understand that by the fact they read it. That's number one. Number two, I just got back from France, and okay. it was supposed to be a vacation. I but let me that. finish, yeah, Alfred. Alfred, 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 Alfred yes. zip it. I don't need to talk that way, John. Well, you know, I'm sick of you interrupting me. Let okay. me finish. Guys, guys, let me, guys. guys. Let, me, let me finish. Both of you. Let me finish. Alfred. John, I have the floor. John, when you're done, say, I'm finished, so that everybody knows. I said, I went to France, and I will not bring the photos up. We can do a slideshow of how wide the roads are there, like everywhere, and they're 70 kilometer per hour, 50 mile per hour, per hour roads. They're probably wider than 12, but I'd say they're 14. Every road. And you know what? You know what people do? They slow down when they're passing. If it's too narrow, they get off and they allow the bigger vehicle to go by. That's how it works. I don't see people here being, having DNA that's so different that they're gonna wanna head on each other and you know, have a cataclysm. But at, I mean, at the end of, the day, end of the day, your job is commissioner. If this has been going on since 2014, and you've had concerns since 2014, individual concerns, sentence by sentence, you haven't read these, Alfred, and you have yet to identify them, paragraph by paragraph, this is a problem, standard A14 is a problem for this reason. Here's the dash toe standard, this is where there's a conflict. It's page 14, this is another standard we cannot follow. I know the state approved it, maybe they missed it. This is why there's a conflict. And you show me the state regulation or the federal regulation or both where it doesn't apply. Just broad brushes saying we can't do it, it's impossible, it's generally illegal. It, I don't know where this legal opinion came from, where the liability now goes from the town to employees who are following a legal directive. Um, we're not asking your guys to drink whiskey and drive down a road drunk. We're asking you to follow a legal directive. And the legal directive simply is, to please have your guys read it and sign that they've read it and understand the language. And if they, I've, I've and if they understand it, that they have a problem, and they, by understanding it, they say, hey, I've got a problem with this, this paragraph. It requires the ditches to be this wide or too close or the road not wide enough. Write down that concern. Communicate it to you. Present it to us when you come and meet with us. And let's have a meeting and to discuss the standards so that we can up right. amend them to improve them. So, How can we improve them? So John, so let's let's we could I think we could debate this for two hours. I have a question I'm guessing. 
Elizabeth, can you hang on until we have a chance for the whole board to have a chance to speak? And then I, I, I will uh, give you a chance to make your comment. Thank you very much. And I'm going to skip my, my, what I said was I'm going to speak. And I'm going to, so just so everybody knows, I'm going to be aiming to wrap us up because we're not going to get to the bottom of this no. tonight. So Denise, I'm going to let you speak, then Rick, then um, Alfred, then I'll go to Elizabeth's comment, then I'll, I'll okay. close us. My comment is, is we've asked road crew members in the past if they have received the, the standards and they have said no. That's why we're requesting something in writing from them, acknowledging that they've received them. Because we've and been told- read them. And read them, because we've been told by other road crew members, some who are no longer here with us as a road crew member, that they never received them. So this is what this is for. Okay, well, thank you, Denise. Well, I will pass that on to them, but I'm conveying to you what they told me. They're not signing it. They don't agree with it. And they don't agree with it. And you're, you, as manager, you're going to communicate to them that, that that's insubordination and it can be grounds for immediate dismissal. Just as manager, you need to communicate that. Rick. To protect them from themselves, Alfred. Rick. Okay. Rick's turn. Yeah, I, I want, I agree. I think we need to let's acknowledge getting a grid. I think document the concern side that goes with those signatures, just like we put a contingency on, you know, on a, on a permit. You know, you can put those, write those down. There's some very good, there the concerns I have with pieces of it. But I think this is the way to have that discussion, is to get the concerns out there. I think, you know, maybe there are certain roads that can have that minimum width where we know we don't have cut embankments where we can't get up. I get very nervous with some of those. I mean, you might, maybe they do it in France, but I, after spending winters here, and I know equipment fairly well in roads, I, I would be changing my underwear after some of the, if I encountered an oil truck or something like that on that road, there wouldn't be anywhere to go. That's the reality. This is in France. So, you know, in the idea, we don't want to spread these roads. So if we're, if we're, we're going to have to plow what is called a ver the verge in those plan if we do that. And so that's going to heave differently than the road does. It doesn't have some base under it or, you know, it's a different material. So it's going to, you know, they're not going to be level like they are in the summer. They change, you know, we can't count on that. And we're still compacting the soil. So, I mean, we have problems there. There are places we couldn't do that because of, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of, a, you know, there are plenty of roads where I think there are issues. I think we do, we have an obligation to identify those roads that, where that might be possible you know, to try that. And I think we would have to work with you on that specifically too, because you, the road crew, are the ones who really know the geometry of those roads. And we, we wouldn't put that on you, but we would want your advice on that, where we could experiment. We work backwards. And I understand your concerns completely. And I know the state was holding their nose when they approved this. Yes, they did. I, they were definitely. But they, but because, they did. They did, and I. Yeah, you know, that's that, a different thing than I heard from I'm state not, officials. Okay, okay, I'm just. Okay. And, this, and the I, state I actually. Adopted, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think this, this is productive. Hey, yeah, it's not productive. I'm not, okay, but I think no, let's, I'm we, not trying to go there. Right. What I want to make sure of is that they, you know, we need to get this read and signed, acknowledge that it's done. Because there's good, there are many good things in there. Let's write down the concerns, get them documented, get working with us, and if it's appropriate, we work on adjusting those, or we don't, and we go forward, we make that decision. I mean, but it isn't on you, it's on us. That, and that, that I think is an important point, that we, that we own both the liability and the standards. Um, well, I, hang, on, hang on, hang on, I promised Elizabeth a chance to ask a question, Elizabeth. How many people on the road crew are independent contractors? On the road, well, uh, road crew itself, the full-time road crew is all full-time employees, and we have how many part-time people that, they're not contractors per se, they're, they're part, they're, they're part, temp they're temporary, temporary, temporary employees, big, big temporary. not a contractor. Is that right. a difference that makes sense? I think, I think I'll use that terminology because it's a legal term that, that, that protects their legal their insurance and their insurance. Um, right. I'm just curious how many people are Team 
I think in the way that you're, yeah, in, in the way that you're using the term contractor, somebody who is an independent co company, even if it's a small person with their own independent um, insurance or whatever, I don't think we have anybody of that nature. No. No, nobody. No, we're, we're all employees. They're, They're all employees. employees. Some are full time. Some are temporary. temporary. But nobody of that of that independent nature. Thank you for the question. So um, I I um, I'm going to call this a success because this has been a topic we've been we've been talking about. We've talked about the road standards. We hear from people that that the road crew isn't isn't following the road standards, and we of course felt like well that doesn't sound right. Of course they are. They're the select board standards. They've been in place for years. So the fact that we have bubbled up that there really is an issue and and I I mean I do want you to take back the select board's position on it but you I think it's a formal request that we're making that you I think we are we reiterating our requests that the crew acknowledge that they have read and understand and we are also guys that I'm looking for some at least nodding yeah. of heads and we're also inviting specific feedback on the areas that they would like to discuss with us. Is that a the, fair the summary? Ice, we're really item on the for? agenda is confirm receipt yes. of standards. Yes. Uh, no, confirm training occurred yep. and received signed forms from road crew relating right. excuse me, to training, comma, receipt of standards and full understanding of the CAL standards. And we are not we are not getting that tonight. But you right. also you were the one who also that said if there's receiving them. if there's issues, then put it in writing and, and bring it forward. Specifically. Specifically, not saying we just yeah, not a broad brush. What, what, right. where we these can't are. So I we, can I have a term here again without interrupting, being interrupted. Yeah. Yes, you may. Go ahead. There is so much more to this issue than just signing a document that the select board has approved. This town is pulling in a lot of grant money from better back roads, from, from the state of Vermont. Municipal uh, roads. Right, municipal, municipal roads. All this money that's coming in is grants. Each one of those grants has a standard you have to follow. You have to have ditches. You have to have a crown road. You have to have a certain footage of gravel. That standard that you guys approve does not meet that standard. So are you guys going to be willing to stand up to these taxpayers and say, we got to give that money back because we're not following the standard? What, what? So, so, so I, I know the standards well enough to know that they require that you crown the roads. Sure. Crown. That's what they do. You just challenge that. I'm challenging the gravel. We, we don't say you don't put gravel in the roads. There's no, there's no limitation on gravel. I'm so, asking you, Alfred. Right. It is guys, interrupting you, John. Well, guys, stop. You stop. Clarify. Stop. We're done. We've said everything productive we can say and so much more. So we're done yeah. for, for so now. It's on not a good standard. It needs to be revisited. Alfred, we're done on this topic. Thank you. Thank you, too. Peter. <laughs> Welcome, Peter. Peter, Pe come on and join well, no, us. No, I don't think we're done, Madam Chair. I, I would like Alfred to come back. And identify the specific areas of the standard. That's what I said a minute ago. And in writing, each one that he has a problem with, and provide corrective language. That's, and that's what I said is the invitation. If the gravel's not deep enough, I don't think we went into that detail. Then let us know what it needs to be. Okay. okay so I said I did. Do we I, need? A, do we want to put in a dead? That's what I'm going to ask line? you, Alfred. Would you? Uh, so we meet again on the 26th. I'm glad. Imagine that's fairly aggressive to come up with what we're asking you for. Um, we meet on October 10th and October 24th and twice in November regular meetings. Tell me, tell me first or second meeting which month that you want to come back and talk to us about specific issues with the road standards. I can come back in two weeks. Specifically with, with lots of detail. With language? With, a, with, a, with a very I'm, specific I'm no issues. Lawyer. But I can no, read I the language. Yeah, well, I you, follow the state standard. I know what those words are. I'll bring those words to you. I would. I'm actually going to suggest we have a lot on the agenda already for the next meeting, um, and this has been out there for eight years. I'm going to suggest that we actually bump it into October. Notwithstanding, thank you for being willing because I want to make sure that Rick has a chance to sit with you on it. Um, and because offline, I bet you guys can work th work through a few, and Rick can say, "Yeah, you know, I see your point, but here's this," and you can probably.
find some consensus rather than doing that all here. And so I'm going to say the 10th, if that's okay with you. And I can probably find a Word version that can be used to go in and make suggested language changes or why this yep. why, why this doesn't work because this is what the Ashto or whatever so that we have, as John said, give us something in writing. Yep. You know, go through it and make right. comments. So How long just, do we can want? Can I just say one more thing? Yep. This should have been done before it was approved or re-approved. You're on the committee, right? No, I was not on the committee. I, thought you were I was on. John. I was never invited to any of those meetings back then when they were doing that. Never. Yeah. He, I no one was. I thought you were our appointed representative. Yeah, I he remember was. voting. I was never made aware of those meetings. I was never invited to those meetings. I never. I was shunned out. Same as I felt for a long time. So well, we, I know we appointed you as our lead yeah, executive. I thought his I name voted was on, on it. it. Yeah. It was my idea. So, so I'm. I don't, your committee happened. never invited me. So. That's so I'm gonna, So that was in 2014. We're moving forward. We're moving ahead. If we haven't done some of the things that you think we should have done with naming the road, let's put that in the document that which naming of the roads that's on us to come and help figure out. But we can't keep going backwards. We need to go forward. So I'm gonna. I've noted this as a 45-minute item. So that will. That's a lot of time. It's not two hours. So I'm gonna. Again, Rick. I'm just gonna look at you and ask if you guys can put your heads together to be sure that um, we're ready for you know to cover as much <coughs> as we can on, on the evening of the 10th for, in a 45-minute in a 45-minute discussion item. And if you guys can get it to us at least a day in advance so we can read it. That would be great. Be Peter, I'm going to extend a, a, a re-invitation for you to join us up here. Um, feel free to come up and just sit next to um, to Alfred and Marilyn. Nice to see you. Thank um, you. Thanks, Thanks Marilyn. Marilyn. Nice Thanks, back. And so we have, we, I'm going to... We're running a little behind, but but I promised you 15 minutes, and that's what and that's what you guys are going to get. Tell so we're here because um, Alfred and Peter were here what a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and they worked out something around the four roads um, and your approach around me, uh, around invasives, and we asked you to come back and tell you tell us about how it all worked out. Peter, go for it. Well, I, mean, I, I thought this issue was done. Well, no. No, we, no, we promised, we asked you this What I is understood good. was is that you wanted me to come back and tell you what I learned over the summer. No? No, it was specifically to hear about your, exper your experience and whether it worked from both points of view, um, what you negotiated around the maintenance of the four roads that you're, that you're focused on. That's... All, all I did was withdraw my request for permit. And correct. And, and the reason I did that was because I, uh, well, twofold. First of all, I, I, I went and I listened to Alfred, and then I watched the meeting afterwards, that, after I left, that he said you didn't know where I was coming from. And so I need to say that where I was coming from was that I was listening to you, but not arguing with you. I, I, I saw your point. We backed in a lot of driveways. I saw your point about wanting to see people uh, have a, a real 10 foot deep line of sight uh, down the road. And uh, and I'm not sure that uh, the people in town are going to go along with that in, in some places. And I'm not sure you can even do it in some places. And a lot of places like in our four roads district, and the roads have a lot more problems than the driveways because of the curves, and we talked about that. So you're that. asking to change so, the conditions of the permit? No, I, I, I said that I would withdraw the permit, uh, and you said you were going to work on um, doing, uh, on making the, I, I'm, I'm cutting the, uh, the, side, the road sides back further. Um, and, and that's something that can't be done immediately, I know that, because there are a lot of trees. Not to mention ledges on uh, Bliss Bond Road and, and uh, even the, um, the east end of uh, Fowler Road. That are, we talked about all the danger points uh, that we that we noticed. Um, but so I withdrew it because 
I I feel like I'm bashing my head against the wall about doing anything but cutting the road sides back 10 feet. Um, and, and I can't do that alone. So um, I did. Uh, so that's why I withdrew the permit. I just wasn't. Right. Essentially, because you don't like the conditions of the permit. There were no conditions on the permit, just well, to yes. suggest. Yes. Conditions conditions the you and I. The conditions were agreement. that if somebody applied for a permit, they had to maintain the road. Same as if right. the town was. That's right. Yeah. That's a condition. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And he's saying he can't do that. Right. It As was one person, he can't do that, and right. and also that maybe others other property owners oh. can't either. Oh. So that's a change of the of the, the conditions of the permit. Well, you couldn't do it either. I think there were many places where there's only two feet back that you mowed, and I can see why there were many places where there's only two feet that you couldn't mow. I th so it sounds I th like it can I actually can you hang on? I think I want I my my memory, and I don't have a printed copy of it here is. That in the in the discussions that we had in our in our subgroup, we talked about um, having a private maintenance condition of XXX. But in the end, because we did not have consensus, the permit application was a was a blank slate, and we just asked. So so Alfred, that's not a condition. It's asking the the applicant, how are you going to maintain line of sight without saying a, there was absolutely no condition. It was a blank slate kind of prompting, is that your recollection, Peter, kind of prompting you to say, uh, I think, uh, to prompt the applicant to be thinking about these things without laying out a condition. In the early draft, we had the conditions, but we took that out in the final one that Peter, Peter completed. My, my memory is just a little bit different. It was that Alfred and I were to come to an agreement and bring it to you. That was after you filled out the app, the application. That was as you, when you sent us off before we went. That's right. That's and, right. Uh, and rode the rode the driveways. That's right. Roads. That's right. But we didn't. And I, the, so yeah. I didn't. You know, I, I just. So uh, I didn't fight for it. You know, you maybe blame me for that. I just listened to you, and I tried to understand where you were coming from. So and we didn't talk about my side because I didn't have that set. Uh, maybe that's my fault, that I should have been more proactive in it. And I, I kind of, as I listened to what went on in the meeting after I left, this last meeting was, uh, I felt like maybe I should have um, instigated a, a more of a, uh, trying to look for a, a so compromise or something. Can I understand what we're doing here today? What are you asking the board for today? So let me, let me, I can answer that question. Yeah. So, <laughs> We, do you want to answer the question, Denise? <laughs> we're not, Peter's not here to ask for anything. You right. guys were here in July. You said you'd, you'd work something out as a compromise, and we very much said that's awesome. Go forth, come back and tell us in a couple months how it, how it went. And what I'm hearing, what I expected we would be hearing is, is you know, Peter, you might say, well, I, I did some gathering. Maybe you didn't pull any invasives this year. You didn't do that at all? I'm sorry. Did I mean, you pull the invasives? Did you oh, do Oh, no, I pulled hundreds of them. You did, okay. Before, uh, earlier in the spring, and then a few later on. Okay, the okay. you just didn't ask us to forego the mowing. the mowing. Denise, you've been wanting to say something. I'm going to let it, you go ahead. It sounds to me like this issue is, is resolved, at least. Maybe not exactly the way you wanted it, but I don't hear you asking us to do anything now. I don't know if you're going to come back next spring with you know a new request, but I just want to understand that is this matter settled for right now, and you don't necessarily like it, but you're okay with it. I felt that it was settled when we had our last what was it, last meeting months ago. Okay. And I went through the application, and that that kind of yeah, made I mean things awkward. That's, yeah. that's, where exactly. I was, that's why I was, that's why I tried to call you today, because I was like, you know, I thought we'd finish this, I thought this was all we've, set we've up. Been, we've well, been carried, think, yeah, maybe, I think we're to, done. Maybe, yeah. quote, you know, to, to use what Denise just said, it's, it's done for this summer. And I didn't, you know, come back and, um, and, and you know, try to do anything any different than how I said I was going to do, which was uh, initially, uh, yeah, Many hundreds. I brought over a whole trailer load of wild turbines. 
to you. And um, of course, Pastor, I called you up and asked you where I could put it. Because you had offered that years, half a dozen years, three or four years ago, anyway. And, uh, and, and it was uh, too big a pile to, there, was, there were too many plants in one concentrated area to, uh, to try to just leave on the road. Um, I, I would be happy to tell you where, give you a two minute history or a three minute history of what I, uh, where, where I've come from and gone. Can we share that with the rest well, of the Yeah, board? actually. Is this the application? Yeah, the, but John, did you look at it? Do you, have a, do you want to no, say No, I just, you, you had questions about it. Yeah, I mean, for just from, I don't want to be. Uh, the reference yeah, it. I don't want to be rude. I think we're all on the same page here on what the application did and didn't do. It didn't, it didn't lay out a, okay. a condition. Um, okay. I think maybe what what's important is, Peter, I want to ask you one question. Did you feel that you were able, with all the polling that you still did in 2022, that you were able to continue your work to test um, methods of, well, did, you of feel, did you feel like I'd that? I'd like to answer that, but also broaden that a bit. Um, no, it was more difficult this year, and I don't really know why. Um, but I started off on this Six, I, I didn't bring my glasses, so I can't read my notes. So I started off on this uh, when, um, the year before Denise um, put it on the front porch farm, at least not later, was having a meeting about wild charitable and other invasives. Maybe it was two years before then uh, uh -huh. that, uh, that I started off. In seven, uh, but anyway, I think it was 15. Um, and I had the same expectation that I found most people have, and that is I could get rid of it. I could learn how to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's very much what I was operating on until um, this past summer, this spring and summer. And so last, this past spring, I went back down to Randolph and talked to farmers again down there. And, uh, and their whole attitude changed. They said, we can't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. um, we've learned to live with it. Um, we've had, uh, and the people that live in the village of uh, Randolph Center said, uh, they're still upset about it because their lawns are completely surrounded by it. The roadsides are completely filled with wild gerbil. Mm -hmm. uh, but the farmer said, well, we just, uh, we concentrate on our fields and we don't worry about what's on the other side of the fence. And uh, so I started talking to more people about it that way. And, uh, and I've come to the conclusion, at least for right now, uh, is that uh, once we've got it, we can't get rid of it. So the most proactive thing we can do, the only real defense we've got, is to not spread it in the first place. Once, once you've got it, and, um, and, and once the farmers and the lawn people, and I, I talked to a guy who, who mows lawns for a living, and he said, uh, yeah, you, you, you mow your lawn every single week. If the farmers um, close cut their hay for haylage uh, three or four times a summer, then uh, they can keep it down to the minimum. It's still spreading, but it's, it's not dominant. And, and so now my attitude is, uh, my next direction is, well, uh, when, when they did this, when we did this study, uh, which Denise has just put on, and so thank you to all of us on now, uh, the idea was is that we tell people in town and involve people in town on how to deal with this. And that's the part that hasn't been done. Yes, John, you went out and you found the used tractor and you tried to make it feasible to buy. You, you didn't want to spend $130,000. Um, but uh, what we haven't done, and this happened just before the pandemic, this happened six months or eight months before the pandemic, the, the report came out, and it had been a two-year study before then. But I went door to door for the last three or four years, or four or five years, and people had no idea what wild turtle was. Um, and then uh, this summer, that's gone beyond that for me because I hadn't really paid attention to uh, poison parsnip. Mm. I know that 
you had been paying attention to I it haven't. half a dozen or seven years ago or something. Because yeah. you talked to me about it then. It was before you were on the slide, yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and you still got it. Can but I not as bad as we did. So, I'm, so, so do you, do you want to... I just want to make a suggestion. Maybe you get somebody like Joanne or somebody that knows about this stuff and hold an education, educational opportunity. It doesn't have to be something that we do. I've talked to Joanne, and Joanne is now doing trees. Right, she's doing uh, emerald ash borers. Yep, and so she directed me to a couple of other women. Right, just have, a, doing, just have uh, an educational invasives. forum. Yeah. Rent and the town so, hall. Yeah, so that my, my plan for this coming year, is to, or for this coming winter right now, is to again touch with as many people as I can that are already doing programs about mm -hmm. this. Uh, these two women, um, whose name I can't read, uh, are that's their job is to is to work with uh, invasives. And I don't I don't know anything about the other invasives. Mm -hmm. We've got ten invasives that they listed in here, and I mm -hmm. only know about two of them. Yeah, I couldn't even recognize the other. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, about them, but and, and I know that for me to get beyond the two that are um, that are, are related, that are in the same family, is just too much for me to do. Yeah. But but the other part of it is is that I also it would I really felt uh, put upon when you said that I had to go to all my neighbors and talk to them. Oh, about the roadside noise. Yeah, but it was the best thing that happened. Because they didn't know what it was, and uh, so you got to educate them. So we got to, to and I got it better. I know my neighbors. It was like when I had a big group when I was in seventh and eighth grade. <laughs> I knew everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> right there you uh, go. But I made the mistake of saying. I initially started out saying uh, people need to weed their own uh, wild journal. and I couldn't keep track of what people were doing. So I had no idea if it was getting better or worse or whatever. Um, and so I said to him, no, I need to do this by myself. Well, this spring I went back holding wild, flowering wild travel plants and, and knocked on the door and he said, what's that? So it has to be an educational thing, just like got, you know, addressed into here. Mm -hmm. And it has to be, um, and, and the mapping thing, you talked about using Joanne's map, but when I talked, I talked to Joanne for an hour on the phone a couple of weeks ago. And, and she said, uh, you know, they only looked at half the roads in town, and in here it said that the map has to be updated now uh, on, a, on a yearly basis. And, and the only way you can do that really is with the people who live on those roads. But you have to walk on the side of the road. You can't drive down the road in a car or a truck yeah. and, and see much except some flowers. But you can see a lot more if you walk. So I think we've got a long ways to go, but the with the goal, that we aren't going to get rid of what's already there. John, you and me are stuck with it, and we have to learn how to live with it. And I, the, and I've just been mowing it, like you suggested. And and, um, but I, I recall well, there are roads in town that don't have it, and we need to find all those. Yeah. And then those are the ones that are supposed to be mowed first and early, and probably mowed twice. Yeah. And then the roads that have got it can be mowed as they come to flower. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna thank you very much for coming, Peter. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna move us along because um, we have a couple other things we want to get done. Um, well, I've said what I wanted to say. Thank yeah, you. thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you for your work for on coming. it. It's a really and, yeah, important, important topic. Not just work. You've really been a leader on this in our town. I, I do. And I one appreciate question that. Question for Peter. The la what I, I remember from our last conversation, um, where you and Alfred came and met with us, you said that. You reached an accord with Alfred in that they were going to wash the mower yeah. before they mowed the areas that he's maintaining. Is that no longer an issue, or is that? Oh, I think it's a real issue. And and, and is and is that I, still I hear what Alfred, you want to see in place? I didn't hear anything about that. Did well, you? I, but I heard, I was at the meeting that Alfred and uh, Toby were at four years ago in the summer of seventeen nineteen eight, nineteen summer of nineteen. When, when this was presented to the town. So was Denise. And, and uh, both Alfred and Toby said, no, we can't do that. That's too much to do. What is? Washing the machinery okay. on a site. You know, the things that they talked about in here. And, and Toby said, and I, I look back at my notes, just, 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 oh, I guess. 
And uh, I, I took notes at that meeting, and uh, I was just there as a, you know, just watching it. I wasn't part of it. And, uh, and, and Toby said, I was pretty sure it was Toby that said, well, we truck dirt everywhere in town, so washing machine is not make any difference. And then when I was talking, oh, I, with, when I was talking with, uh, well, but, but, but what they were saying was, is that they tried to do, because I was just one in Plainfield, Marshfield. I went to the presentation of Marshfield a couple weeks before the one here. And that's how I found out about this thing. I didn't even know about it until then. Um, and, and she suggested that uh, the town have a dump site for dirt. And the road crew didn't want to have anything to do with that. It was, um, so, and then I talked to Cody this spring, and I said, there's this triangle right at his intersection. It is now getting hit. It wasn't going to be five years ago. And it was chock full of wild turtle. He has much less in it now. And I went to him and I said, what happened? Yeah. Fair amount of pain. Pardon? Fair amount of pain. OK, I got it. This is fascinating. What? Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. You really thank you, done Peter. A good job of making us all aware of this. I appreciate it. Uh, and yes, well, Peter, thanks a lot for yep. thanks a lot for thank you for joining <laughs> us. Um, we talked about rescheduling the town highway seven hearing. Okay, so the constable position. Yeah. Um, this is not this is not even I didn't even put discussion on it. I just want to say a couple of things because it needs to go on a future item. We do not have a constable now. Um, and the conversation we all, the board needs to have, and I'm just teeing this up for everybody, is in the, in the context of bringing and on, onboarding our last appointed constable, we learned a lot about the options around what type of constable and what kind of function we want our constable to take on. We have some choices. I think I at least will say I went into that with not a full understanding that we actually had choices, and we learned that. And so the conversation we have to have is is that what kind now that we know what kind of constable do we want to have in our town, uh, so that we can move forward and make that happen. And we, and we need to consult with the insurance asset. Mm -hmm. All, all of the things. This is not. All those things. We are not going to discuss this tonight, Peter. Yeah. This is I'm not. Just, as your as your representative of the state police yeah. uh, advisory board, uh, as far as I know, they fall apart. They, what, what has fallen apart? The state police advisory board it hasn't met in over a year or two. Okay. It hasn't okay. met since the beginning. Okay, so unrelated constable, but good to know. Well, yeah. it, it may be related. Maybe. I don't know. Well, so so I want to just put That's this. I wanted to put this point in the minds of the board that we need to that. Um, we need to get working. I on think this. we have it on their yeah next meeting. This is something I, conversation I do think we need to have um, next meeting if we can. Yeah, we we've mm -hmm. said the other one that goes on yeah. the tenth. Uh, and that's the topic, is what kind of constable we want to have. So please review your notes and meeting minutes from um, a few months ago when we were dealing with that. Um, I just want to yeah, go... Yeah, the, okay. the different levels. The different, the different levels. Peter, thank you very so much. So the groove pavement and the biking signs thing, we're not acting on that. We're not acting, and I put that on the 26th, and Rick's going to have more formal proposals. So let's just do a quick yeah. round robin in case there's something that people haven't had a chance to, to bring up. Uh, Rick, anything that you wanted to... No, what on our no, radar, Denise? No. I, think, I think we know it all. What's on uh, the radar? John, anything? Okay. No, in, no, in the future, though, I, I did uh, photo document what France is doing to control speed. Um, and I'll, I'm going to put something together for this winter. I want to check in with VTrans, see what is allowable in Vermont and what is not allowable, and what is grant, if, if allowable, what it might be grant eligible. So that is, um, so this is a perfect segue to one of our, um, let's just quick run down what's on the agenda for next time, um, or on the potential agenda, because we always have to juggle. But we have a couple of curb cut applications, Alfred, so make sure that you have the Jason Carmichael and the CKC Holdings curb cuts to take a look at, because we'll be talking about those. Um, we we'll, Yeah, we'll be ready for the town hall usage on the... Okay, Mark is think. point person on the town hall usage policy. We want to get an update on Moscow Woods closure. And in fact, there was a request that you guys post a more current update, maybe on front porch form. So it's open, hmm? it's done. It's done? Okay, maybe okay. put that on front porch okay. forum. Can you let the town office staff know because they have been getting a lot of phone calls. Yeah, with people wanting to know if the road is open. I've told everybody I've talked to it'll be done this week. 
last week and it's done. Well, they still are getting phone calls. Could you just call the office tomorrow and leave a message or something if they're not there when you're there and just let them know that the road is done and open? Yeah, I have to drop in there tomorrow. Anyways. Thank you. So we want to talk about, um, to the point you just made, John, use of ARPA funds for traffic calming road study, road design study. That's on the agenda for next time. Yeah. Um, I'll check in with Neil. We still haven't done the shade tree hearing. Yeah, I wonder what's happening with that. Um, hmm? I don't know what's happening with that. Nothing. It's but but no, why he, why have we not heard from you? Right. It's like why have, why do we yeah. not know what's going on? Um, and then you guys can look at the um, some of the yeah. There's a number of other a few a handful of yeah. other items. Um, okay. Is there motion to adjourn? Is there a motion to adjourn? We finished everything for executive session. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Before, well, we started at six. Don't forget. We've been here. Yeah, we've been here a while. Yep.